best way to compress down a large size GeoTIFF. So I have a GeoTIFF here that I created using Pix4D React in a Mavic 2 Pro. I was able to fly it, stitch it together. Um, you can see there at the bottom it says that this file is 1.9 gigabytes, which is definitely too big for ATAC to be able to use as an overlay. So one of the things that I was able to do is I went and downloaded the QGIS open source free software. And with that download, it, it comes with this shell program called OSGO4W. And this uh, allows us to run some scripts and commands on files to change their outputs. So the first thing we're going to want to do is tell it to look in the right folder. So that's this folder right here. So there's my directory that it needs to change. So when I go to the shell, I'm going to go ahead and give it the change directory command and tell it where it needs to go. So now we can see that it's in the right location. So with that, I'm going to give it a few commands to um, have it essentially translate this file. So we're going to give it the gdal underscore translate. Then we're going to type in co compress equals jpeg C dash co tiled equals yes. And then you put in the file name. So this file name is test.image tiff and what file output you want. So I'm going to put test.image underscore compressed dot tiff and you hit enter, let it run. So you can see it's got the input file size and it's already running through the process. Um, and you can see we're already halfway there and it is almost two gigs. So this process does run pretty quick. Um, you can see that file being created there in the background. So now that it's done, I'll go ahead and close the shell. I can now look at this file, check its properties, and you can see we've moved 1.9 gigabytes down to 42 megabytes. And I was able to upload this into ATAC and bring it in as an overlay, and it maintains an amazing amount of resolution, um, especially down to the level that we're gonna zoom. So there's definitely not any distinguishable loss of resolution in that. So if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. I'm going to post the exact uh, script commands to go with this.